Greetings, greetings, greetings. I am about to shut down my closet for, oh my goodness, like a while, a while. And so I kept it open for as long as I could today. I am happy to report these four items that I am shipping out are um, $52 average sales price. I even had one sale today that was not a result of an offer. So that is super exciting. I did try to trigger some sales with closet clear out on my most popular items. And so I think we're just gonna get started right away. I also am gonna have a little bonus video of the stuff I packed for my trip. I am sneaking in a yoga class before I'm gonna be out of town. So um, you get this lovely <laughs> yoga class look <laughs> on the video today. Okay, so the first item I sold this morning was a Lululemon Like a Cloud bra. Now, I had this in my closet for 48. The buyer offered me 30 and I accepted. I sell these live for 28 or about there. So $30 was a great offer, even though I had it in my closet for 48. I did happily accept this offer. And, um, I do have a few offers that have been transpiring over the course of 24 hours that I just wanna share about, you know, as a result of my last video, which was a week's worth of offers from Likers. There are a few sagas that have continued as far as the offers from Likers that were featured in that video. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this sold for $30. It was the lowest priced item that I sold today. I picked this up from a friend of mine who teaches yoga. And um, let's see. I paid her $5 for it. So my cost of goods was $5. I made a $19 profit on this after posh fees. Next up is this new with tags, Eva Franco. This is a um, this is a brand that's under the umbrella of Anthropology or a brand that Anthropology sells. Um, it is a size two and it is corduroy. Hello, June 14th. I've had this in my closet for at least six months. It is new with tags. It was priced $150. I had it in my closet for 88. It had a lot of interest. It's obviously been reposted a couple of times and People have certainly been drawn to it, but really no one has made any potential moves via offer or gone for any price drops that I have put out there. So what I did was I decided today, I went through for closet clear out my most liked items, my most liked items. And I probably picked mm, 12 or 15 of my most liked items to drop the price for closet clear out. Now I go into the little calculator. I'll shoot a little screenshot of this. I go into the little calculator. I click on it and then Poshmark shows you what the price drop has to be for it to trigger the shipping in the real closet clear out way. So I triggered, I dropped it to a price. I dropped it half price. I dropped it to a price that actually triggered half price ship or er, shipping, reduced cost shipping from Posh. And that resulted in a sale. 
I have found when I do something like closet clear out, maybe in the first 30 minutes, if people don't act on that instant drop of the closet clear out, people typically don't come back like four or five hours later and buy the item. That's just in my experience. So also when I was going through and using that method of clicking the little calculator as far as reducing the cost, deciding what I needed to reduce the cost of, right? So if you have reduced the cost of an item, drop the price in closet clear out and then put the price back up. The price has to be 10% lower than any of your published previous pricing. So when I sorted my closet by likes, I was manually basically going in to see what I could drop the price to. Sometimes I went a little bit more than what the suggested was. Sometimes I kept right to it. Other times I ran into the issue where I didn't want to drop 10% lower than what I had previously posted. So that's technically just going to turn into an item that gets reposted. It'll get some fresh energy in my closet, but currently I don't want to offer more than whatever that bottom was. The next item I sold was an offer from Liker, and it's just a little tiny sign that I do accept offers. I got an offer for $79 on this item, and I am going to just trim a little bit. There's a few longer strings hanging off here. It's just because it's a raw edge. Um, I'm just going to trim the ones that feel a little bit longer. I had this in my closet for, I'm going to put up what the offer was. I took a screenshot of it, but I had it in my closet for over $100. The brand on this is Mira Blackman, and this is what it is. It's like a sh shibari indigo kimono. So it's very much a Japanese style. Oh, dyed indigo, and it also has some stitching like the mending style right there. It's so hard to see that, sorry. Um, there's not a lot of it, but there's some sort of after the fact stitching to give it a decorative detail. And since I'm about to shut down my closet, I decided that $79 was a fair offer. I did have it priced fairly well in my closet. I have seen some of these, not the exact one. They tend to be like one of a kind, but a very similar one, sell for close to $150. So I didn't think it was overpriced, but then again, I also thought the $79 offer was a good one. So I loved the profit margin on it. I will be bringing home $63.20 and my cost of goods, was close to eight dollars on this and I save my best item for last <laughs> I'm joking that about that but this was actually a full priced sale and on Wednesday it probably was in my um, video as well on Wednesday someone had offered me a low ball I would consider on these jeans and they actually sold today for full price so I'm very happy about that okay so let's see I had let's talk totals I'm gonna st stick this in the envelope but I had $79 for the kimono $55 for the jeans $44 for the skirt and $30 for the bra is $208 divided by four is $52 ASP. I am uh, loving that ASP. I am going to quickly pop back to a little convo about the um, jeans that I'm shipping out. So these are called the Venice Beach Flare Jeans. I'll put a little screenshot of them up and they're pretty popular. They're like pull on comfy cozy, like very stretchy flare jeans, very, very flattering and a very long inseam. I 
saw the majority of them sold for around 65 to 75 dollars on posh they retail for 98 i decided hopefully to get them to move faster that i would price them at 55 and I think it was a good strategy because I wasn't sending out offers today since I'm closing down my closet. I didn't receive an offer. She just bought the item straight out. So that was actually delighted me. That was, that was delightful. So let's talk about, I wish I had my phone. I don't have it in front of me. I don't have the specific offers in front of me, but um, I have had some fun with some people. So I am going back to these jeans that I talked about on Wednesday. They're Levi's, they're vintage 821s, and I have them listed for 125. There really aren't any other pairs available that I could find on eBay, a Google search or whatever. And my lowest that I offered was $75. The person countered with 40, I declined. They countered with 50, I declined. And then today they countered with 51. Let me go get the salt. So I decided to counter with 124. I love vintage Levi's. I understand their worth. And all I would like to say is I, I'm not just going to <laughs> like sell to people because I have to make a sale. And I just talked about that. I lost out on 22 sales in my last video because I didn't take low ball offers. Okay, so here are some other offers that I am going to discuss. I had a $55 black dog gray hoodie in my closet and I offered $33. So I think that was 40% off. A person counter offered 20 and I countered 28. So 28 is 50% off. I counter offered 50% off. The person came back with 23. 50% off is my threshold. Sorry, blocked. I have a pair of Tory Burch sandals in my closet for $78 and I offered 54. Someone offered 25. I declined the 25, she came back and offered 30. It's just not happening. Like, I'm just not doing that. I have a pair of Keen, really cool, kind of swishy croc vibe sandals in my closet. I listed them for 40 and I offered 28. So 30% off I offered. Someone countered with 15. I countered with 25. So I countered with more than 30% off and the person declined. So, and that's all from my offer details from the day. So I guess when I receive a full price offer and then I've got an ASP of $52 for four items, I am definitely like feeling pretty happy about that. I'm feeling content. One more thing I wanted to talk about. I began packing for my trip, pulling some items out last night, and I am the person who likes to actually try on items and see what kind of outfits I can put together for my trip. I took this opportunity to actually put the items on my body, interchange these pants, this shirt, this shirt, that skirt, those shorts, this sweatshirt, this sweatshirt, those jeans. And so I'm just gonna have a video playing of um, the, the outfits that I decided to pack. And I'm going to be gone for um, quite some time, over a week and almost two weeks. And that's the number of items that I've decided to take for that amount of time that I'm gonna be away. I also have, as you would imagine, underwear, a bathing suit, um, I do have two outfits to wear to yoga 
and some pajamas but my pajamas are also interlaceable i highly recommend packing minimally and only packing items that you can interchange with one another it should make sense right like this shirt goes with these jeans but this shirt also goes with my shorts and then run with that right so everything goes with everything if you're bringing three pairs of pants make sure you bring a shirt that goes with all of those pants i only brought one shirt that really doesn't go well with anything but my high-rise jeans and I understand that and I'm okay with that um let's see I'm headed off to the post office and I'm gonna be back with some content from where I'm gonna be on vacation and I hope it's enjoyable thank you so much for watching